Welcome Trader! This video covers all types of pending orders. Throughout your trading journey, you'll identify lots of different opportunities. So to make sure your trading is efficient as possible, familiarize yourself with the different types of orders. There are essentially two ways to open a trade. The first is by instant execution, which means you are opening a trade immediately at the available price. The second is pending orders, which you can use to take a position when the market reaches a specific level chosen by you. Pending orders might be perfect for when you don't have the time to constantly monitor prices manually, or when you have analyzed the market and are waiting for your entry level. There are four types of pending orders available within XStation 5, but we can group it to just two main types. Orders expecting to break a certain market level, or orders expecting to bounce back from a certain market level. Let's start with the Buy Stop pending order, which you can use to follow the trend. The Buy Stop order allows you to place a buy order above the current market price. This means that if the current market price is $20 and your buy stop is $22, a buy order will be opened once the market reaches that price. A sell stop is similar, but is placed below the current market price. So if the current market price is $20 and your sell stop price is $18, a sell position will be opened once the market reaches that price. Let's have a look at limit orders. The opposite of a buy stop is buy limit, which you can use to set a buy order below the current market price. This means that if the current market price is $20 and your buy limit is $18, then once the market reaches the price level of $18, a buy position will be opened. Finally, the sell limit order allows you to set a sell order above the current market price. So, if the current market price is $20 and the set sell limit price is $22, then once the market reaches the price level of $22, a sell position will be opened on this market. Limit orders were designed for the ability to trade on retracements and reversals. Let's summarize. Buy stop or sell stop orders help you to follow the prevailing trend. Limit orders help you to exploit price retracements and reversals. Opening pending orders. By using XStation 5, you can easily open an order ticket from the Market Watch window. First, choose the market which you want to take a position on. Next, click the Order Ticket button or double-click on the name of the market. Once you do so, the order ticket will open and you can then select the Pending Order tab. Next, select the market level at which the pending order will be activated. You should also choose the size of the position based on the volume, contract value or margin. If necessary, you can set an expiration date. You can see that the order window has an inbuilt calculator which helps you to determine every aspect of your trade. It instantly calculates things like spread in pips and monetary value, commission, pip value, daily swap points. In the order window, choose the size of the position and whether to apply a stop loss or take profit level. Once all these parameters are set, select the green or red button depending on whether you would like to go long or short. Trading from the chart. Another way to place a pending order is through the chart. You can easily place pending orders directly from the chart that you are currently analyzing. Take a look at the button found in the top left corner of the chart and click it. After doing so, 
Move the mouse cursor on the chart so that you can select the level where the pending order will be opened. Also note that if you place your trade above the price, you will have the option to choose buy stop or sell limit orders. And if you place an order below the price, you'll choose between sell stop and buy limit. After you set these levels, an order ticket window will appear with all the parameters that you've chosen. Now simply choose the size of the position and place the order by selecting the red or green button depending on the type of order you are placing. As you can see, pending orders can execute your trading plan for you when you aren't able to monitor prices. This completes the beginner tutorials of XStation 5. Well done! Remember, familiarizing yourself with your trading platform and utilizing all its features can help take you to the next level in your trading. There are also intermediate and advanced sections available. Thank you for watching.